welcome! Today we're playing The Great War Redux, where I try to live out another one of my historical fantasies. You see, the Entente... ...set a preset kill limit. Knowing their weakness, I sent wave after wave of my own men at them, until they reached their limit and shut down. Kif, show them the medal I won. <sighs> we're gonna try and make Austria-Hungary not suck. And that is actually more difficult than it sounds. Let's check it out. Welcome to my beloved Austria-Hungary. It has some issues. It has several, several issues. Several issues. In fact, I, I'd say after the Ottoman Empire, this is the worst empire in Europe. I don't even think it can be considered an empire. It's several small nations wearing a trench coat pretending to be an empire. That's how I view Austria-Hungary, so it needs a little bit of work. Fortunately, it recently received a rework and an update focus tree it's pretty big it's pretty big so politics over here industry over there army over there there's even a small navy and air force branch and what looks to be a Konrad von Hotzendorf branch I've no idea how to get here but it looks funny as hell Italy's greatest mistake is her existence <laughs> <laughs> I'd say this is the big problem we have to fix first. I'd rather not get my crown prince shot. I'll need to end Slav opposition. I think that'll be my first goal. All right, let's let's work towards that. We have 16 civs, of which we have eight available. That is certainly not great. And since we do start on civilian economy, I think it's best if we just build a little uh, little infrastructure and then see from there. I'd actually do some dockyards because dockyards also don't get that construction penalty. One of the largest empires in Europe and we have five military factories. Five. Five mills and three dockyards and that's it. That's it. I'm just gonna build more howitzers. I remember howitzers being really good and everything else is just gonna have to trickle in. Don't forget to assign the MIOs. We have a navy in production. I honestly don't know if I want to get this built or not, but I suppose since most of it is already in production in some way or other, might as well. Make sure all the screens get built first. Now, I admit it has been a while since I played a navy game, so I'm not entirely sure how to design uh, follow-up ships. I know cheap destroyers are always good, but I have heard good things about light cruisers, armored light cruisers. So just add armor, add all the secondary batteries you can, and then add all the light batteries you can. So give them a lot of armor and light attack, but I don't know if that's actually good. My other go-to design for single player is just one single medium heavy battery. So it, it gets designated as a capital ship and a heavy cruiser, and then fill all the medium slots here with secondary battery. So what you have is effectively a heavy cruiser with almost no heavy attack, but a bunch of light attacks. So it, it still shreds enemy screens and then the destroyers you have can shred enemy fleets, but not sure if this is what I want to go with. It's irrelevant anyway. We have something of a navy. At least Austria-Hungary does have some ships and they can exercise. We should have some oil. We have an air force. I'm going to delete it and I'm going to sell whatever we have on the market because if I remember correctly in this mod, air force, not that impressive, not that important. Research three slots. We'll just start with the basics. Wait, that's not the basics. We'll start with a little bit of production, construction, and uh, excavation. Or do I want to work on some naval techs? I'm very unlikely to run a naval game, so let's let's just improve the infantry. And then we have an army. It's a pretty big army, but it's horribly under-equipped. Let's see what we have here. Landsturm Division. These are awful. Infantry Division. Why are these divisions all so big? Cavalry Division. Like, all of these suck. I'm gonna take everything except for the Mountaineers and convert it to the Landwehr Infanterie. It's slightly smaller. I'm gonna delete that division. I'm gonna try and bring this down to like 18 width, I think, because I, d I don't want divisions this big. I just don't. We'll design something else to be our heavy hitters. Uh, these guys, I'll just uh, have them exercise. I have nothing to do for them anyway. And then we'll trade with our brothers, the German Reich. All right, let's see if I can make this country not suck. Bosnia is a dangerous region. Great start, an assassination attempt. Well, uh, maybe I should uh, create an intelligence agency, see if I can find some spies. We have our first focus done. Since I do need both Cisleithanian and Translithanian, the Lithuanian politics. I need to work my way towards Slav opposition. I'll just go and grab this one. X stability is always great. And then we can hire a professional crisis solver. That seems exactly like the kind of thing we need as Austria-Hungary. Most of this game is going to be focused on fixing, well, fixing the country, really. We need to fix the political situation. We need to fix the military situation. We need to fix the industrial situation. Everything about this country is awful, except for our ruler's massive sideburns. So at looks like the approach to fixing Austria-Hungary is revoking everyone's privileges and just 
keeping them under your boot. Hey, if it works, right? That's one constitution gone. Let's focus on our own politics now. Ooh, political power, yes. Now, focus on the industry a little bit more. We won't be fighting anyone for quite a while. I don't think I can even send volunteers. I also just realized, like, all of my industrial concerns are locked behind focuses and decisions. Half of my MIOs are locked behind focuses as well. God, this is gonna suck, isn't it? Dispersed or concentrated? My heart says dispersed, but concentrated might be best since we don't have a lot of factories and it will take a while to get more factories. No, 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 no. Let's just go with the dispersed. Serbia has lifted the embargo. Wow, I'm impressed, Serbia. I'm immediately going to follow that up with a little bit of anti-Serb policy. No, no. First, good things first. Integrate Croatia. Yes. Make them our core. I'll use the political power to hire the noble bureaucrat. More political power coming in. So, even with a bunch of modifiers increasing our political power, we're still only getting 0.5 per day. Mostly because of the Hungarian opposition. Alright, I can also lift the Serbian embargo and then normalize relations that gets rid of the pig war. So more political power and more production efficiency, at least. Now we just do the anti-Serb policy immediately after repairing relations with Serbia. And then we end Slav opposition. It should remove this in time for Franz Ferdinand to not get shot. Yeah, I want to rush for this, promote Hungarian interests, just remove the Hungarian opposition. With these ships almost built, uh, we'll have to consider what we're going to build next. I'm thinking lead with a couple of destroyers. Destroyers are going to get sunk anyway and, you know, get a couple of good destroyers out there, good engine, and everything else can be okay. They make for decent screens, right? So we'll make these to reinforce the main fleet. We got our Hungarian interest promoter. What do I do? This gives me stability, which is good, but I want other things as well. Let's deal with the Italians and then we'll try to deal with the Czechs. We'll deal with the Croatians, deal with the Bosnians, and then actually start improving the industry. I think we've spent enough time trying to make this country politically vaguely stable. And now it's on to the real thing, uh, making sure this country can win a war or at least not lose a war. Fleet and being or trade interdiction? Trade interdiction's really focused on subs and I don't think I want to play that game. Base strike is very much dependent on carriers, which are not a real thing in, in the First World War, so I think like the default is going to be fleet and being. Well, within the army XP we have, let's also downsize this division a little bit, so it brings it down to 18 width. Not amazing, but a lot cheaper. Saves up a lot of manpower and equipment. I also kind of want to strip out like the engineers and the support artillery just at the start and add it back in later, but we'll see. I'll start with the infantry equipment and build up from here. I'll probably duplicate these to make our shock division, which is going to be not artillery, but howitzers are the big thing in this mod so a big heavy hitter 30 width something like that to make the breakthroughs and then just bare bones infantry to hold the line and also the mountaineers need to be downsized a little the ideal width for a mountaineer is also in this mod 25 if i'm not mistaken i like to add howitzers so to have a little bit more bite to them so 25 width hopefully these guys will be competent they'll be my elites as well and they will be named after my channel members but the mod doesn't work I'll have to do that manually. All right, time to dissolve Czech autonomy. And after that, just a little trip to Croatian constitutional re rest restitution and on to the industry branch, I think. I need to get something of an industry going here. And it's time we went up to early mobilization. Still not ideal, but I cannot get partial or war economy yet. There's just not enough world tension. There goes the Balkan War. Let's see who comes out on top. I, I'm Yeah, I, I don't think the... Uh, no, no, Ottoman Empire is gone. It's 1913, and I think most of the issues have been resolved, except for Galician poverty and the multi-ethnic army. I need to get the army branch unlocked to get the multi-ethnic army fixed. And for Galicia, I need to invest in Galicia and then do the cis Lithania galicia focus here. That allows me to invest in the region. So it shouldn't be too much more, and this country can start picking itself back up. Navy is being built up. The army is, well, woefully short in equipment. Fortunately, I can buy some equipment while I wait for things to kick off. Spain doesn't need guns, right? Yeah, I think they're better off in my hands. Anyway, I should keep training some infantry because I'm going to need a lot of units for what's about to happen. I got about six months. Oh, I almost got shot. Well, no, my air almost got shot. Fortunately, that didn't happen. Okay, now I can do the army focuses. Yes. 
Okay, so this gives us a question. The top option just unlocks the focus tree and gives us a stability hit. The bottom option replaces Franz Joseph with Franz Ferdinand. Don't think I want to do that. All right, with war looming, I should start shopping. Guns, support equipment, artillery, everything on the market. I'm going to put out orders. I'm going to start shopping like crazy. I need to get to national mobilization by the time the war fires. That will allow me to really get rid of the penalty. Oh, I should probably get trucks as well. Supply is a bit of a thing. And I should probably be making a couple of trains. Oh, God. How did I allow this country to lapse so should also organize the Navy. Okay, so I'm thinking we get destroyers. One, two, three, four, five, like 100 killer pack, well, 100 packs of five destroyers each. I will split them all off into separate fleets. So about five of these. So all they have to do is split Bot. So this fleet is just going to patrol in one, two, these three sea zones, I think, to challenge the French Navy, maybe the British if they show up. I don't know if they're going to, but I think we'll stick to these three sea zones. And then this main fleet under whoever doesn't suck too much. This guy can go on strike force in these three sea zones, maybe split the Navy in half, but that's a bit risky. The AI also uses Doomstack, so I might as well just use Doomstack myself. As for the destroyers, I don't ever want them engaging. I just want them patrolling. These elite units I'll try to use to try and quickly knock out Romania. I think the goal is going to be knock out Romania, stabilize the front with Russia, take out Serbia if they get involved, and then look at Italy or maybe a French breakthrough in Germany. But I definitely, definitely, definitely need more men. I have thousands of artillery pieces short. Yeah, I'm going to need to turn this into just the 18 with infantry block I was using first. I don't have the artillery for this. The Italian question, do I want the other people to help me as well? Or do I focus on my own problems? I have so many problems. Yeah, let's go grab this steel here. Do we settle for the situation as is, leaving Italy as a question? Or do we propose to offer them Trentino and Fiume in exchange for picking our side? I'm going to exchange those territories because I would much rather not have to fight in Italy if I can avoid it. And if dying has to be done in Italy, let it be done by Italians. Tanks are still way too far ahead of time. I really don't think the armored cars are worth it. Are they worth it? Anyone who knows this mod, Great War Redux, could you tell me, are armored cars worth it? Because I don't think they are. I guess since nothing seems to be happening, I'll just go for Balkan expansion, get my claims, and use that to start a war somehow? Well, Franz Joseph died, and... I got Franz Ferdinand anyway, so I guess the tree unlocks anyway. And still, November 1916. No war. And I can't justify it. There's zero world tension. The world is entirely at peace. This may be a du Oh. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it looks like the French have sparked things by attacking Germany. I'm curious why, though. They want revenge over the Franco-Prussian War. Germany has a massive penalty against them. They're in the on top. Okay, so things have kicked off. Okay, we're we're gaming, boys. We are gaming. The Navy fall back. Everybody resume. You on patrol. You on strike force. I'm going to be called into war any moment now. So none of my armies should be training. I'll join the war. Yes. Russians. Ooh, Russians come in hard and fast straight away. So we'll have to see if these units can hold. Okay, so first goal, take out Russia. I think we can take out Russia fairly easily until Romania gets involved. Once Romania's in, we are gonna, you know, kick their teeth in first. After that, we'll have to wait and see. I am going to be short on a lot of equipment until I can get my industry really up and running. But things have improved for us. Things have improved. Germany declared war on Belgium only to get invaded by Belgium. That's clever. I think the Italian Navy's done for. So that's seven battleships, 24 destroyers, and a light cruiser just just gone. It appears there was a spy among us, and that's gonna cost me, wow, all of my command power, all of my political power, a bunch of stability. Oh, this was bad. All right, they've called in Romania. I can take Romania. Aggressive, aggressive, aggressive. Go, 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 go. You also aggressive. Go, 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 go. So Romania's not defending its borders. With a little luck, I can grab some lands before 
they wake up. Yeah, it looks like I might might be able to take a bit of a land grab here before they really wake up to what's going on. If I can get to them before the Russians are able to reinforce the Romanians. Yes. Okay, so I've got the Romanians, got their capital, got their second biggest city. I got most of their army trapped well, most. I got a significant portion of their army trapped here. If I can destroy that and then make a push on Constanta and Bazargic, I think I can crush them before they will be able to reinforce. Now, out of Bucharest, go south. I don't think the Romanians have enough troops to stop me. Just need to avoid fighting them head on and focus on grabbing land. So I'll go around them. The, Ru the Russians are coming, though, though. I see Russian reinforcements coming in, but that's okay. Russians still pounding my lines. I need more men, though. I definitely need additional forces. Flamethrowers, yes. So I got more men coming, but I need infantry equipment, and I'm, I'm making I'm making it. I'm making a bunch of stuff. I just don't think I'll be able to make it quickly enough. My small fleet of just a couple of destroyers and my heavy cruisers is up against a big U uh, UK fleet. And I think we are going to come out ahead. All right, there goes Romania. Let's reorganize this, make this a little bit cleaner. So let's remove the individual orders and go to a field marshal order along this front. Do I want to bring the shock troops up as well? I think I want to bring the shock troops up to try and force a breach in Russia. And I think the best place to do that is this area, like push up to Brest-Litovsk and link up with the German tail end of Prussia up there. Ostpreußen? Ost Other than that, I might need to reinforce the Germans here because they're not doing very well. I'm the only one who appears to be doing reasonably well. I lost six destroyers. I sank 39 <laughs> destroyers and four light cruisers. Serbia issues an ultimatum. I can either sign over West Banat, Braca, Srem, Dalmatia, Croatia. So I, literally everything in the Balkans. No, I could just give them Banat and see what happens. No, to hell with them. I'd say we... We say that, yeah. All right, Kingdom of Serbia has declared war. Perfect. I'll just destroy you then. Montenegro is also justifying, as is Siam. Let's take five of you guys to hold the border with Montenegro. I did take Belgrade, so yay. Belgrade is ours. I do not for a minute regret making these very thick stormtroopers. Yay, Italy's getting... Oh, Italy. <laughs> I regret doing that focus to get Italy on our side. I should not have signed over Istria to that worthless worm. Oh, Bulgaria has been called into the war. Wonderful, if not for the fact that apparently Bulgaria had its entire army away from the Serbian border. Let's launch an all-out attack to pin whatever Serbian forces are in the area. Maybe with the help of the Bulgarians, we can stop Serbia once and for all, unless, you know, they manage to immediately lose their capital to them. I don't know. Sofia is, is wide open. Oh, right, I'm buying a bunch of guns. That is Serbia out. Time to quickly make an example of not Serbia. Montenegro, that's the one. Yeah, so Italy's losing. Germany is losing fairly hard. And the only person winning this entire damn alliance... Well, Ottomans are also, of course, losing. But that's not even a question. The only person's winning in this damn alliance is Austria-Hungary. And I guess Bulgaria, but we gave them everything. If the Mountaineers are going to keep the Montenegrins bottled up, I'll send the shock troops down south to try and clean up Sicily. I have to do something because we sitting here just plays into the allies' hands. They have the economy to keep this going and turn it into a war of attrition. We don't. We really don't. Yay, you got the British bottled up in Palermo. Palermo? 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 At least we've given uh, Sicily back to Italy. <laughs> You've done something right. There's nothing I can do in Italy. These units are not up to the task of fending off the endless, I, I do mean quite endless, French attacks. Like the French have so many men to throw away. I can't do anything, but it does does feel like the Germans have started to leverage their numbers a little bit better. So the French are worse off than the Germans and they're starting to push. Uh, they've also started to push the Russian front. The Russians haven't really crumbled as much as I would have liked, but maybe I can assist them. A little push towards Lubin and then onwards. And I'll keep the Mountaineers just to surround Montenegro, I guess. Oh, well, we're making some sort of movements up here, so better than nothing. Let's go grab the supply hub and maybe I can make a trip to Warsaw. All right, made it to Brest-Litovsk. Let's keep expanding this. Ooh, let's get to Warsaw. Now I concentrate all of my uh, shock troops to the northern part of this. And if I can link up with the German forces, we can possibly force a breach. If I can get units through here quickly enough, 
we can possibly force a breach. All right, all right. So I might not be able to take Warsaw, but I could very possibly threaten an encirclement around uh, Allenstein. Oh, it feels like they're funneling in units faster than I can kill the enemy. Oh, I think we've just had the biggest naval engagement yet, and um, I'm quite sure we won. How did I miss this? We caught the British Navy with their pants down. A heavy cruiser, 10 battleships, 20 destroyers sunk, and the battle is resuming with more of the British fleet being poured in. Oh, no, this is not going to our benefit this time. Oh, no. Oh, we, we oh, no. That second battle did not um, quite go as planned. And we're through. No, they managed to reinforce. Of course, they managed to reinforce. Are we through now? No, they managed to reinforce again. Let's work our way to that final bonus. I need these units to be slightly better. How are they constantly reinforcing that quickly? I've spent so much time setting up. Okay, good. We're through there. You guys head north. Try to spread out over as much of this as we can. We need a broad angle of attack here. Now to ensure future success with the elites, I have renamed the Mountaineers and Shock Troops to channel members. Channel members, so people who sign up to this channel as a member, who knew, will have a chance to see themselves featured in these videos. I will make lists of all channel members, scramble them and add them to a mod or do them manually and I will rename divisions in your honor. Usually the elites because otherwise, well, this is a lot of infantry to rename. Well, at least we're getting one tile close Closer to the Grand Encirclement. Yay! Now let's go grab the Determined Ausgleich. That will at least fix everything my army is lacking, I think. It does feel like we're finally making progress in Montenegro. I've been able to kill a couple of their divisions, so just keep the attack moving forward. If I can close the front in Montenegro, I can then bring these divisions up to take out whatever's left of Greece. This is just a giant pain, though. We've stacked nine divisions on the tile now. Let's keep pushing north then. The advantage is that to the north there are plains tiles that are significantly easier to break. Well, significantly. They are definitely easier to break than a forest tile. Wow. So I wasn't looking at France for like a couple of months. Methinks Germany's onto something here. All right, screw it. We're not closing the pocket in Russia as much as I would like. Well, it's not Russia yet, though I would love to do it. I think we have a better opportunity here to end the war and drive on Paris. We'll redeploy. Oh my God, I'm... So much, how, so many howitzer short. So we're, we're forcing our way towards Paris. Good, 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 good. Well on our way to Paris. If we reach Paris and take it, the war ends. So that division alone could see the war end. Uh, can I take Paris? Can you do it? You can. Yeah! We've taken Paris. The war's over. We've won. The fall of Paris. The German Empire. That was the Austrians. But okay. Okay. The Germans did contribute. I admit. The Germans did contribute. Uh-oh. It doesn't feel like the war's gonna end, is it? No? Okay. In that case, I might be in trouble. Uh, they have to retake in Paris. Oh! Yeah! They were just about... <laughs> The Entente surrenders. They were just about to retake Paris. Actually, the Allies, or the Entente, are in the better position in this war. Northern Italy is overrun. Massive breach. Germany is overextended and bleeding men and has been invaded. Old Prussia is occupied. This is not going well for the Central Powers. And peace treaty. Well... We didn't get much, did we? We didn't get much at all. All right, so 90 days. Let's see what we actually get. Before we get to that, I want to see what my navy actually did. So for the last... Well, let's say for the duration of the war, 17 destroyers lost. But I did sink 76, so I'd say we won that fight. I lost a cruiser. I sank 16 cruisers, so I say we won that. I didn't lose a single heavy. I sank 11 of those. Good on me. Overall, I'd say the navy won. But not brilliantly. Oh, God. Th that's just the older results. The current year results. I just lost 20 destroyers and got nothing killed. So, Navy performed disappointingly bad. All right, conference. What do I get? What do I get? Massive lax pike, apparently. Oh, God. I got n nothing? I think this may be... The first time a major power has gone to war, won a war, and ended up having less land than it did before. So our faction is this bandit. Oh, okay, okay. Romania is our puppet. So we, we did get Serbia, Romania, and Ukraine as our puppets. Nice. Nah, that's cool, that's cool. Okay, I was disappointed there for a second. The Germans got Poland? 
I think. What used to be Belgium, as well as Morocco, Courland, Baltic Duchy, and Lithuania. Okay. All in all, this has been very disappointing in, as, as far as peace deals go. I guess we made Austria-Hungary great again. The empire did not collapse. The empire did, in fact, emerge victoriously from this war. And as a result, we cannot join factions. We cannot declare wars. We cannot justify wars. We can do nothing. I guess that concludes this playthrough because there's nothing more I can do. There's there's no more focus tree to continue, I think. I hit play by accident and it has been um, hilarious seeing what the world does. So the Germans got their nice colonial holdings and the Britons got to hold on to some of it and it's all falling apart. So South Africa is having a civil war. You got Rhodesia here. You got the Boer Republic fighting it out over control of South Africa. The Raj has fallen, about, uh, has fallen apart. I Azad Hind versus the Old Raj. I think Mexico just started its own civil war. The Constitutional Army against, well, Mexico. This is so, f oh, ooh, something bad is coming. Y you win the war to end all wars, and suddenly it feels like the world starts falling apart, and it's not looking good. If you ever think, eh, I want to continue playing, uh, it m might not be a great idea, because uh, you now got that post-war economy that you can't remove. It's, uh, I, I don't think you're meant to keep playing this. And next video.